So I've got my dynamic list here. I'm in Live View in Dreamweaver. Well, what if I want to take this and link to a detail page that gives more details about this, um, this record and the record set? Well, that's pretty easy to do. Um, all I have to do is create a link from this to the detail page. And then on that detail page, I have to filter the record set so that it shows the proper record. So to get started with that, let's start by let's start by going to the detail page and um, and putting some data in there. Now I first I need to start by creating a record set. If I've already created one, then I can just um, copy it with the Control C and then go to my detail page and then paste in my um, my record set. And um, so what I want to do here is just uh, put in some data. So I'll put in the, the title. And then I'll just um, go ahead and insert my package description. And um, if I want to have an image show up, I can bind to that image. And I think the easiest way to do that is to um, go ahead and, and grab an image, um, pull it out to the page. And, um, you know, we can format this if we like. I think I'll go ahead and just put it right after the description for now. And um, with that selected, I can go to the package graphic and then hit the bind button. Now, it's not going to work here uh, just the way it is, but um, what we have to we have to do a few things. One is we have to make sure that the path is correct. And then, um, and then we have to look at it in live view. So let's start. Maybe the path is already correct. So if we look at it in live view, um, we see that that image doesn't show up. So I'm going to go back, and um, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to just drag out uh, the actual image um, from the folder where the images are, and then I'm just going to go to split view, and I'm going to compare this one to this one. So with this one, um, the name of the file right here is um, preceded by the folder name. And so if I look up here in this image, uh, what I need, what I'm leaving out there is just the path to the folder name. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in, hit save, and then let's, um, let's go back to design view and hit live. And um, I can see that it shows up now. So I can get rid of my static image there. And um, so that's, that's my first step is that I now have a detail page. Now I'm going to go back to list and what I want to do is link to that detail page. So um, I'm going to save everything and um, I'm going to highlight this um, package title. And when I create my link, I want to use the folder icon and I want to find uh, the file that I'm linking to, which is detail.php. And um, I always do that. I, I uh, forgot to add the parameter, which is the important step that we need to remember. So I double, I just clicked on that folder icon again. And um, right here, next to this URL box, um, there's a parameter link. And so what we can do here is add some um, some information to be sent to that other file, the um, the detail file, and it gets sent in the URL, and that's why it's called a URL parameter, or you know we call it we also call it a query string. So we need to give it a name, and um, for the name, I'm just going to call it um, package ID. Now notice that I've got package all in lowercase, ideas in uppercase. You have to remember the case. For the value, what I want to do is use this little lightning bolt, and I want to grab that value from the database. So I'm going to send it package ID. Now when I look, I notice that the field name is capital I, lowercase d. Um, so you know, if I want to make this easy on myself, I could just use the um, same name that's in the um, that's in the database. You don't have to. It's just a little easier that way. Um, do have to make sure I spell it right. Let's try that again. 
usually when people make a mistake, it's that they forget the name that they gave this. Um, you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click OK, and I'm just going to hit Save, and I need to upload my um, my list, and um, and then I'm going to go ahead and upload the detail page. And now I want to test this with an F12 or preview in browser. And um, so now you can see I have all these links and um, let's say I, I go to Backpack California and then there's the title, the description, and then the picture that goes with that. Um, also notice that up here in the URL I have my query string, the question mark, followed by that uh, the label that I gave it, the name, and then equals, and then the value of whatever that ID is from the database. Now that works for my first record, but watch what happens with my second record. Um, my query string is different, package ID equals two, but notice that I'm still going to the first record. And no matter what I click on, I'm going to the first record. So what I need to do now is um, fix that. Um, so the way that I fix that is in the detail page, I'm going to edit my record set and I want to add a filter so that I'm only displaying the record that I'm interested in. So my filter is going to be package ID equals URL parameter package ID. Now whatever I called it on the other page, I need to call it that here. So I made sure that they were spelled the same so this should work. And what I'm going to do is test this. And when I hit test, I have to put in a value that I know will work. And I know there's a an, uh, package ID 1. So when I hit that, I get Backpack California. Click OK. Click OK. Now I've made a change to this file, so I need to save it and um, upload it. And let's try testing that. I'll just refresh this page. And um, so now when I click on this, um, I see that it shows the correct record. And I also see, you know, I, I can still see that, the, that there's a query string up there that works.